Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm a little hot, so I'm gonna cool down. She's a hot. Bit. She's hot, Your Honor. Your hair looks so good today. Did you put products in it? I am in blue dry while wow, she's getting styled for the girls thank you to my stylist nunas me me Fuji- myself Fuji actually is a licensed hairstylist he is he has he's got the license <laughs> hi adam <laughs> episode 18 episode 18 we're here they're not queer. They're not queer. Get used to it. And we are used to it at this point. Yeah, this way. 18 episodes in. I'm very 30, ready to watch. 40 hours in. I can't wait for His Man 3. I know, I'm ready. A breath I'm of fresh ready air. ready for the gays. Ready for the gays. Did it start in May last year? It did, didn't it? Um, No, I think it started in June. Because that one week where they released, I think it was oh, like it was mid-June. like Pride-ish, yeah. Yeah. Because we'll they be released back. three, four, five, and one. So it was the week before because they tried to finish it before right. we moved to July. Yeah. But I don't know. I think they filmed it really early this time. I think so, too, because they like Cause announced. Because Man 2 filmed in like January. Yeah. It's like they announced His Man 2's upcoming release dates at the same time they released casting. Yeah. Welcome back to Boys Love Exchange 3, the show where we recap the continuing saga, the infinite, never-ending story that is these it's, six six ex-couples. It's the never-ending story. Who feels like the most never-ending story? This is the story that never ends. It just goes on and on, Or the actual friend. movie with the right. giant... With the girl. And the... Dragon? I've never seen it. It's an 80s thing. It's, There's so much 80s culture that I missed out on because so my mom was like in her formative years in the 70s. So there's a lot of 70s culture that I, yeah. she was like, you have to see this. And my sisters were like kids in the 80s. So they like, experienced a lot of it. Yeah. And so I just like, there's a lot that like, I just saw Princess Bride like three yes. years ago. Yeah. During my pandemic. family, even though my brother and my sister are like, 10 and 8 years older than me. Mm-hmm. They were so they were big fans of current funny? pop culture in the 90s. That we have the same age uh-huh. gaps of our siblings. Yeah. Here's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about I wrote down all of the questions mm-hmm. at Truth or Dare. So we will be discussing not all, but some. Yeah. We're going to talk about texts, the final text, the final text. The final text. Um, and then we're going to talk about just some conversations and then just some nitty gritty. And, and then, technically we have to talk about the two mutual dates, but they don't matter at all. And then <laughs> we're talking about the teaser for the next episode. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I forgot this happened. And then we're going to talk about two of the X dates that happened in this episode. Yes. Okay. Well, so first mutual dates. Second, Questions. Questions. Third, Third text. Texts, fourth, fourth X dates. Fifth, fifth, other things. Yeah. Miscellanea. Miscellanea. Coming Ooh. to the stage. Miscellanea. Miss- Miscellanea. <gasps> Hui Hyun and So Kyung have a chosen date. And when I tell you, girl, that there were crickets, not a damn spark. Not a soul can spark, bitch. So mad because after their date, they make wooden rings, whatever. Whatever. Truly a whatever date. On Truly the drive, just two friends hanging out. On the drive back. They literally like, so who are you going to pick? This is the thing. <laughs> this is like people the whole season, like the panel, some people in comments were like, there is no chemistry or not ke- no chemistry, but there's no sparks between Changjin, Changjin and Dahe. Mama, if you want to talk about a sparkless energy. Huyen and Sokyung. Nothing. Nothing. And like the first Silence. time you could have been like, oh, it's because he awkward, was like awkward, he's really whatever. Into her. But like, I think Even that's A, just how one, he is. Yeah. And B, like. Yes, I've noticed. She was never interested in him. So I don't know why she texted. She literally, <sighs> Adam, she literally texted Huyen 
A, to she show had a better Juwan, date with Min Hyung than she did. To show Juwon that your ex texted Hui Hyun today. And because she was like, oh, well, I just found out he actually likes me. So let me try it. Which I mean, like, okay, she's playing the field. She's figuring it out. But no, at this but point. But at this point. You know, at this point, you've lived left. together for like weeks. Yeah. Like three weeks now. You know if you have any chemistry whatsoever. It's not going to. It's yeah. not like, it's oh, not gonna... you kind of think they're cute, whatever. Like, it's not the first yeah. week. Yeah. You know, girl. And then, like, what? You have this great date, and all of a sudden you're swayed, and you're going to pick him in and two I days? And I do think she has chemistry with Kwang Tae. That's why it's frustrating. That's why it's frustrating. Because, A, I'm obviously rooting for Kwang Tae at this uh-huh. point. And so I want him to be happy. Yeah. And... I want men to be... You want men to be happy. That's what you want, right? I only care about men. <laughs> As a men's rights activist... No. Sister. Sister. I said to a very straight designer at work today. Oh. Hey, diva. And he literally was like, I have never been called diva in my entire life. RJ is reaching out to the ally community. Ally. Say, say, what does he sell her to say? Say, say hi. And in it, she again is like, yeah, you really don't like making eye contact. And he's like, yeah, I don't I like don't. making eye contact. And she's contact. like, look at me. And she's like, and like, girl, the signs are everywhere. I don't it's so, understand. Okay. It's so crazy. I'm over talking about this date. I just was mad that she picked it. Yes. Because on the drive back, she was like, yeah, I'm toying they between Quante or the like my ex. Yeah. He, she's <laughs> telling him to get back with k Yeah, she's like, give her a chance. He brings up k Like, yeah. The, if we were to like rank the dates of the show, this is probably the worst date on the show. This is worse, worse than, than Kwang Tae. So- worse than Kwang Tae Sok Young when Kwa- when Sok Young oh, was, like, was sick. like sick, or yeah. like yes, also Kwang Tae and Yu Jung. Yu Jung when Yu Jung was like, can't wait to not be with you anymore. We can wrap the date up. This is worse than that. Yeah. We will talk about Hye Won and Dong Jin's date, which I think goes much better. Much better. They're people. And you know what I've always said? Mm-hmm. People who need people. We have done this exact bit before, but luckily not on exchange. Yeah. So it's, we can reuse bits as long as it's Are in a different show. Are the luckiest people in the world. Mm-hmm. And who said that? Oh, you. Me. You said that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ong Jin and Hyewon are two people who are very agreeable. I think they are not the domineering force in, in a, a relationship. relationship. And so they are willing to, they're very easy to please. And they're very focused on making sure that the other person feels at ease. Yes. And so I think they're very well matched in that way. Yeah. And they're also, I don't want to say, well, listen, we've said Dong Jin's dumb. I, so I don't want to say like Kiwan's also dumb, but I do think they're not like sophisticated people and that they're like specific thing. There's like criteria mm-hmm. for them. Yeah. I think they're just like looking for a good time. I think and if, that's all for them. And that's okay. I think if any of the guys kind of had the same approach that Dong Jin has, she could have, I think, fallen for any of the guys. Yeah, I think so too. Um. So they're. I think they're really well matched. They're very sweet. He Tong does Jin finally apologizes. Finally apologizes once they get to the restaurant. Which I guess, on one hand, like I appreciate that he didn't do it in the car. But I felt bad for her because he. She even kept being like, "Oh yeah, I lost my appetite last night." <laughs> Crick and again and again, crickets. he's like, mm-hmm, "Yeah," and I think he was trying to. You know, he wants to do it properly. Yeah, but at the same time, like. Put her at ease now. Now, you know? we had a little bit of this conversation when we watched the episode. Do you think Dong Jin is exteriorly Girl. aware of edits? Does it feel like Dong Jin is working overtime to ensure that I he is he, not painted as a villain? Because of how he was like, I'm going to come in cool and really cold. Mm-hmm. I think he's afraid that like, oh, I actually can't do that. That's actually not me, which comes up in the question later that gets yes. asked to him. Yes. And I do think that he has been thinking about how he's being perceived in the show a lot more than anyone else. 
in the cast. I think so too. I think Dong Jin. I think he's afraid to look dumb. I think if you're okay, if you're Dong Jin, I'm assume I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna say Dong Jin did not watch Exchange Two in real time. You were just like, there's a show that lets you kind of... He probably heard about it in passing, but he just doesn't seem like the type to watch dating shows, Mm -hmm. okay? He gives me like, I watch soccer tees. You know what I mean? And that's like where it ends. Yeah. That's his... No, I bet he watches a... He likes a real melodramatic K-drama. Yes, because they were singing his favorite song and it's like a ballad. A hundred percent. He watched Build Up. Oh, he... (laughs) He watched our recaps. He watched our recaps. Yeah. That being said, if you were a person who had been invited to do this show and you Googled anything about Exchange 2, one of the first things I feel like you would find in just discussion around last is season Gumen? is Gumen. Especially if you're going to search for guys. Guys. What happened with guys? Yeah. It's like Gumen because, or Hido. Because... Those were the Gumin, Heian, Hido, Hidu, Nayan were the two main couples of the season. Yeah. What will they won't they? And Hidu Nayan worked back out, so it was fine. But Heian was the the sympathetic hero of the show. Mm-hmm. That every the the younger sister that everyone wanted, younger older sister that everyone wanted to root for, to really root for, yeah. And she was so. Daiye started a little bit this way at the top of the season and then has like calmed down a bit and stopped crying as much. But like Heian, I'm not kidding you if you've not seen last season, she cried every Every single episode. episode. (laughs) And I lived because I'm also a very emotional person. So I was like, slay representation. I just love like real people being melodramatic. Yes, it was was fully that. Yeah. But I think because of that, he got an even harsher... Yes. I don't even he, think the show edited him poorly. Just, by, but the by way the audience is. took it, they were like, he he's is a monster. monster. Fully ignoring her, fully. Yeah. But they're do he's doing Dong Jin is doing the same thing human did last season mm-hmm. and is not getting the same yeah. flack from I think the general public. I mean maybe maybe, maybe. it's happening on like Korean comments, but as far as I have seen, it doesn't seem like that's be- the consensus. Because he shows such a softer side with Hyewon that you're like, yes, and I, I feel do, like that's I think that's, that's true. his redeeming quality. I think true. that's true, but I also think he, in his talking heads, is very honest about he how is. much he has loved Daihe. Yes, and I think really. The thing that really set him apart from the very beginning was when he when they had to go around and introduce their jobs mm-hmm. and he prefaced Dahe for her to and be, be like, like she really helped me. I yes, know her. So that she, she wouldn't feel bad if nobody knew had heard of Bestie. I know. And I think that went a long way for a to lot make of people. people feel like, oh, he's not mean and cold. Yes. And like a lot of people don't even think because there's not a lot of people that have dated idols. So it's right. like, people are like, oh, I didn't realize that that's a I, thing that people that they might feel. And people are also, I think, willing to, I think they have a bit of a more understandable backstory from both sides, mm-hmm. whereas I don't think Human and Hayan did. Because Human was just like, I just fell out of love with her. Yeah. You never really got like a clear story. There wasn't really It was just answer. like, they became different people as they got older. Right. Which is fair. Yeah. But at least this one, you're like, well, I guess, yeah, if he gave up his he dreams up his and then dream. he feels like whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Whether right or wrong, that's what happened. You can, like, point to a story. So that's what's going on there. Very cute date. Very fun. I like them together. They pretty much just, like, pretty much have admitted that they like each other. Yeah, and I think it's, like, I I am not rude. They're not, like, um... In the great love stories of, you know... Uh, dating shows. Dating shows past. They're not... It's uh, not like... A Jun spark- Sung-ho. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, oh, they have to be together. Like, they're the main couple. It's just nice that they're together it and they found comforting. this. comforting. Yes. They go after these dates and everybody else who didn't go out on a date today. They all go to Deer Lodge. Um, giving mountain energy. Kim Yuvin Lodge. Oh, sure. Bambin. Um, 
and they play a game of truth or dare. Now, there's no dares happening. Truth I or guess drink. the dare is drink, shot, drink. If you don't, yeah, yeah. want to answer the question. So you have you were you became a stenographer. I did. Yes, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. Okay. Um, everybody's there. Uh, Huiyun, uh, Huiyun, Huiyun and Sakyung come Sakyung in. Sakyung come in with these couple rings. Uh-huh. And then Hye- Dongjin and Hyewon come in, and Hyewon is wearing Dongjin's Dong coat. coat. And Dahye is Which like, is Oop. fine, but like, it's very funny because Hyewon is like, Huiyun has these stupid rings on, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Diva. Diva. You can't be real right now. You cannot have come in in Dongjin's coat and then be like, I can't believe they have wear ring rings. It's so funny. It's just like the disconnect mm-hmm. is for everyone. So one question is, uh, Kwangte asks Juwon who he has feelings of greater than 50% for. And Juwon was like, I think that's too specific. Because they're I, not allowed to ask questions like, about who are you the final ending up decision. with? Yeah. Who's your final decision? And he was like, I don't know. That feels really close to the final decision. So I won't be answering that. So I won't be answering. And everyone's like, no. It's just asking, do you- Right now. Right now. Right. Things can still change in two days. And they definitely will. And they definitely will. But he was so defensive. Even the panel was like, girl, you should have answered that damn question. What just are you talking about? Just answer the question. About? Just, say, just say no. If the safe answer is, it's 50-50 you, Jung so right. Young right now, just say no. Just say no. Or just lie. Could have done that. Um, but it's the game is called Truth. The game is called Truth. And you know, Korean people love games. And they really have to honor the rules. Um, Sang Jong and Min Hyung ask each other questions. And we don't really care. We don't really care. But me- I, I will tell you right now that they are choosing each other at the end I of know, the show. I know. Min and Min it's Young- going to be weird because the show is set up so that you're supposed to root for whoever ends up making it together, together. like choosing each other. Yes. The rooting will not be coming from this tooting. Okay. <laughs> He asks her, like, after every fight that we've had here, which is plenty, Mama. since I came in literally, what, two days ago, three days ago? Um, did it, like, complicate your feelings at the end every time? Mm-hmm. And she she was, or did it, like, help you? Have clear? you found peace? Peace. And she was like, no, it complicated things more. Mm-hmm. And then she basically asked the same thing, right? She said, have you changed your perspective since Since the pre-interview question and he drinks and he did not answer him not answering also his was very performative yes that's what i was gonna say him not answering was more to prove to everyone and to show her that like you don't know what i'm thinking but we do it was a little weird because he was like each other is that sorry just i'm unclear on the rules here is that the drink if we don't want to answer the question? Anybody know? Anybody? It is. It is. <laughs> like, just drink just the drink. Just drink the damn shot. Drink the drink, girl. From what we've shown, Juwon and Min Hyung are the only two that don't answer a question. Yes. Juwon asks So Kyung, do you not want to go on a date with me? Because, because So Kim gets asked a question, if you could pick a date to go with someone right now, who would it be? Mm-hmm. Who is your what who do you want to pick for the last date? Yeah, and she says Kwang Tae. And Juwon. Yeah. Like <laughs> multiple times in this episode they cut to a talking head where Juwon is like, and I guess now I really understand where she's at. And I'm like, We've, we've been, been <laughs> we've been here we've been here for so long understanding where she's but at it's so funny because she's he has I been understand a person that our timeline is very different from but theirs, he but. has been a person who's like but what she's showing and her behavior here isn't the real her so i don't know what it is i'm like girl he she is touching all of these guys you do know you just don't you both of you just don't want to admit it uh, oh my god oh my god um, 
And she says she does not want to go on a date with him. Unfortunately, she, they're about to go on a date tomorrow. They're about to. But then she keeps talking. She's like, because I know I'll be swayed. Oh, yeah. but she Because she won't answer a question like yes or no. She'll be like, no, because also blah, 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 blah. And it's like, girl. She just loves to give that's, info. That's how the webs are weaved. The, that's how you weave webs. That's how you weave webs. They're word, by her, wordsmith. Because by her saying that, not saying that she's like diabolical in this way, but by her saying that... That's making you jump feel type of way. She's, you know what I mean? Like it's I mean, affecting everyone. I will say Sokyung Sokyung has her first moment in this whole show where I really felt like, wow, I'm actually seeing real Sokyung. Yeah. Not the one, not that I'm saying she's being fake on the show, but I think there is like the a level of gone. like the str- she is has a strategy. Mm-hmm. Whether or not she's I think s- overly conscious of her strategy, I think she's like playing a game in a very specific way. And this episode, in this question, when she is asked, um, she asks Juwon, were you attracted to someone more than me? She starts by saying Juwon and immediately bursts into tears. And it's the real first time that I was like, this is what I was looking for from Sokyung. Like, Uh I need, I need to know why, I need, I need clarity. Yeah. Because she's so mysterious. Her talking heads are so completely like blank, just like I'm going to mm-hmm. answer no this question straight. Yeah, it's very yeah. I'm not frustrated. Like she she'll say she's frustrated but she doesn't show overt emotion. Like mm-hmm. she's very I'm trying not to make it sound like she's manipulative or calculative, but like I think she's very cognizant of like what the show what's happening on the show. And I think this was the first time where she was like, the facade cracked. And, and I, I'm just a as girl, an audience member. I'm just a person trying to figure out if I want to be with this person. Yes, totally. And I appreciated that as an audience member who was like, I've been waiting for you to show us show just us how much. Vulnerability. Show, show, ben De La Creme, show us ver- vulnerability. But who are you really? Elsa Frozen to show yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Elsa. So I liked that moment from her. Yeah. Even though, of course, I was sad for her. Yes. But I was like, I'm glad to finally see. Because even when that time when she like confronted Juwan and she cried, I was like, there's something And then Juwan says about this. no. Yes. Juwan said, well, that I could have told you from the beginning that he, I would, I knew he was going to say no. Were you attracted to someone more than Sokyung? No. That's why we're in this situation. He is not attracted to Yu Jung more than he's attracted to Sokyung. No matter what has happened. No matter what has happened, no matter how still, great the dates are. Right. Yeah. He is still down bad for Sokka. And it's it's that's the heartbreak that's the of it all. That's part of the show. Yeah. That's that's yeah. Um Huyun asks Dongjin who he's worried about, and Dongjin says, nah? No. no. Ooh. Me? Good even na. Me, you. Yeah. So implying and everyone I don't care about because it's not Changjin. So he it's just K1. It's just K1. It's a confirmation to everyone in this room. Yeah. But it is kind of it's a little slight moment. Yes. It's like a Because they kept saying the girls were like, well, when they were waiting for this night to happen, the girls were like, I really want to know what Dong Jinopa thinks because I feel like I can't get a read of him. Mm-hmm. And then Dahe was like, bitch. Try being in a fucking relationship for 13 years. Girl. <laughs> T. <laughs> Sok Young asks Jong Un um, if her feelings for Kwang Tae are zero, and she very, very quickly, quickly says yes. Yes. And. Actually, they're negative zero. Okay, girl. <sighs> Jong Un asks Juan if he has room for a new person. He says no. He says no. So I do feel bad for Jong Un more than I feel bad for Min Hyung. Obviously, Min Hyung and Sung Jung are, and they're oh, what's really they're crazy is show. they are they are full main characters, and everyone else in their lives is a side character of their story. <laughs> no, but on so- this show, they are the sixth couple. Yeah. I'm not kidding. If we were ranking the couples, they are number six. The time the show has devoted to those two people, I could do, is fits in one of our recaps. Uh-huh. That's it. I ju- they do not care. The Sang Jung Min Hyung Saga Dive. Yeah. Where it's just one. It's an EP. Three hour episode. Yeah. It's a single. 
Uh-huh. It's a bonus track. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Jung Eun, I do feel, I think she's like a girly who like is fine leaving the show and not having anything happen. I think she came for Kwang Tae to have Kwang Tae have the peace. That's what I wondered too. I think, I think it was more. I think she felt really bad about how their relationship ended. I think so too. I think she knows that it was so formative for him in a bad way. Mm -hmm. That I think she came to be like, I want to be a good person, yeah, and help him get through this, yeah. And I, I love that. It's very adult. It's very of her. sweet. It's very cool. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about their ex date later, which I did actually really enjoy. Yeah. Oh no, that's right. Min Young asks Yu Jung if you doubt, if you're doubtful of whatever's going on, would you say it's you or your ex? Yeah, and she says it's Chung Jin. Because he asked the same thing to Hyewon, mm-hmm. and Hyewon says it's me. Mm-hmm. We have to talk about two other questions. Yeah, two, one plus two a uh, part. Okay, Hyewon asks Hyun, "Did you did keep you your keep promise your promise from, from la- yesterday? Yesterday, from our conversation yesterday." And Hyun goes, "Mama, we talked a lot yesterday." So I don't know. What are you talking about? And she was like, you know, the thing. The, the thing, thing that you I promised. Asked you to promise, and he was the like, thing you promised for, about today, about what you did today. And he was like, like yeah. Okay, I, okay, then yes, yes, I did. I did. And then in the talking heads. Oh my God. Okay, what do you actually remember? Because I was like. Did you go back and watch it? No, but oh. I remembered. I interpreted it as like, oh, it's this. I think I remember her version of events. Which was to end it or to... Okay, I took it as they were both going to go on these dates and Correct. give it their give it their all. And like truly be like in the date to make sure, is this really what I want that with a new so person? Funny. Or... So you understood it from Huyun's perspective. Yeah, because I remember I understood it from Huyun's <laughs> perspective, which was, I'm going to go on this date and, but I think I, I've made up my mind about uh, Sok Young. See, I took it as, I'm going to go on this date to validate what direction I'm going in. Interesting. Wow. I see, that's what the, I'm saying. I took it in the opposite then way. Then just, <laughs> but see, he won. I think there's some love. I've seen enough of this girl now. He li- She likes testing Huyan over and over oh, again. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. But it's a little it's a little thrill. There's a little cause she kind of does it with Dong Jin a little bit too, but in a more flirty way. Yes. With Hui Hun, it's like he's not gonna pass your tests. No, I mean He's not that smart. I'm sorry. He's, he's not really that smart. not. He's really not. He's really God not. bless him. But he's a real ding dong. <laughs> so anyway, they do not they do not. They and agree in person, but then they're both we, like, "Yes, we both." Uh huh. And Did she feels promised. great, and he feels great, and, and then, they are not talking about the same <laughs> thing at all. The same thing. <laughs> so very goofy. <laughs> okay, now let's turn to the somber part yeah. of the episode. This is the sad. This might be one of the saddest things I've ever heard. A scene experienced on the show, and it is done so gracefully, <sighs> truly, genuinely. Daihei asked Dongjin. Have you lied about your feelings during the course of the show? And he says yes. And he says yes. Meaning, she w- he was cold to her for much of the show. And she felt like he hated her. Yes. And was it a lie? And he confirms that it was yes. to... He says it was to protect her but so I think... that he didn't lead her on. Yes. But that's what you but I always think come in also and thinking about. a bit of like... Because that's what... Uh, Gyumin wanted to do. But this is what I'm saying. Dongjin and Hyewon, I think, are people who will just like go with, just say yes to whatever's going on. So I think if he had gone in and given her energy of like, let's get back together, and she had been like, okay, then let's get back together, he just would have agreed to it. He would have agreed to it. I think it's and more I about, think he's it's more really for him like, than her. I really can't be in this relationship yes. anymore, which is so sad. But yeah. like, I do understand why he did this. It just sucks that there's not. A better... Better way to do it. Or even, like, agree. I wish... It's hard, too, because, like, I think if at the first 
conversation at the cafe before they start the show if they had been if he'd been like it's gonna be really hard it's gonna be and really I, hard and i I'm, might be cold i might be cold because i don't know what i'm gonna do because it, I, i'm yeah. really scared but they don't ever but do they this don't and even because when they finally talk which didn't happen all of Seoul, by the way. Correct. It was all of Jeju. Mm-hmm. When you finally talk, she was like, I was having such a hard time. And he was like, well, I was having a hard time too. And she's like, how the fuck would I have known? I know. <laughs> you ignored me. Mm-hmm. And that was, I think that really got to him that he was like, oh yeah. Yeah. I was mad at her, but she had no, she didn't know. Right. And it's not her fault. It's not her fault. Yeah. It's, Yeah. So that's one, and then Dong Jeunesse Dahye. Basically, how did you think our relationship would end? end? If you ever did. And she says that she at no point thought it was going to end. She thought they were going to get married and spend the rest yeah. of their lives together. And the way and then- she answers it, she's like, we were together 13 years. Of course I thought we were going to get married. And like, is very, she's not defensive. She's not offensive. Like, she's just stating it so plainly and calmly. And, like, she's not mean. She's not antagonizing Mm -hmm. him. She's not being like, why would you think anything else? You know what I mean? Like, and I think it really cracks something for him. For him. Yeah. There is something I do feel if she didn't go through what she went through in Seoul, I don't think she would have such a strong front. Mm-hmm. in jeju yeah because she has been so she's been so strong mm-hmm. that i didn't think she it, she had it in her genuinely. i'm also curious if like dahye i mean there's so many worlds in in what could have happened but like i'm curious if like if she hadn't gotten in bestie right like does that change things like does he resent her less because she doesn't really get the career that he wanted so like it also yeah, doesn't they, work if out they for both her. Failed. Yeah, yeah, they both don't they make both it. They didn't, both didn't debut. Right. Does that change? Like, there's yeah. so many, there's so many hidden, or like other alternate universes of what could have happened for their relationship. And it's yeah. so, it's so sad because it's so clear when you watch them how much they, they care for each other. They love each other. They really it's do. It's so deep. And like, they're friends from when they were so young too. Like, it's all baked in there. But like, Oh, to be like, I don't know. There's something so sad about Dong Jin feeling like he had, she had never expressed that she they wanted, wanted to, to get married. Yeah. Even though I think somebody pointed out that on, in the X room, like one of the letters is written, like while he was in the army, she wrote to him, like, can you come back so we can get married already or something like that? So like, but I think it's like, could he have just taken it as like, banter like not real yeah. like you know what i mean so it's very sad and he like is visibly shaken by that yeah information yeah Whew. Truth so then immediately bitch. they're like okay who's your final text going to okay i know here's who matches sang jan and min hyung <laughs> dong jin and hyewon Yu Jung and Juwon. Kwang Tae and Sok Young. Great. Okay, yeah, right? Great. Great. New matches. Slay. Uh, Hui Yun text Skye Won. Da Hye text Chung Chung Jin. Chung Eun checks Juwon. Uh, Chung Jin text Yu Jung. And those are the ones who don't match. Mm-hmm. The ones that stood out to me were Dahi texting Changjin of like, I just need to know if this is even a possibility or not. So yeah. we should talk before we should talk the tonight. end. I don't think they did. I don't think they did. No. So. But I think him not texting her is also yeah. a pretty big signal too. Yeah. Um, so. So Jongun and Kwang Tae go on a date. It takes about five Their minutes. Ex-date. Their ex date. Their ex date. And it's very cute because even on the drive, Kwang Tae was like, "Wow, I never took care of you. I was so mean." Blah 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 blah. And it's like the playful 
banter yeah right yeah. they're like ribbing each other it's yes. very cute it's very cute yeah they go to this real they, he's like do you remember anything i did for you and, and she, she goes was like no truly i really don't remember a lot and he was relationship. like oh yeah you're right because i've never done anything for you Bob. i was so mean to you and she's like i know you were great <laughs> it's so funny they're like totally kidding it's very sweet yeah they go to this very nice italian restaurant it's bu- yeah they go to buca di beppo, buca di beppo. Mm-hmm. they sit at the pope's table and she, they both have a conversation while they're eating that like, Quante never took her to a meal, treated her to a meal. He was a student, she so he student. had like no money. So she would always pay for his stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think he felt, especially because she's older than him, mm-hmm. I think he felt extra bad about it. And he would always kind of say like, someday I'm going to like treat you to a meal and yeah. you can eat whatever you want. Because in this meal... She was. He was like, "Do you want to order the second pasta?" And they like order more food, yeah. basically. Because she said that every time they would go out, she would say, "Get whatever you want, I'll pay for it." And, and so, so this was it. the fi- time he could finally say, "Get whatever you want, I'll pay for it." Yeah, it's and so it's, sweet. <sighs> it's so lovely. It really is. It really is because they're. He really cared for this relationship. I think it really totally. and I think he, shaped him for the good and kind of like to reveal like his weaknesses. And I think he really got to have that conversation with her where he cried in the like greenhouse mm-hmm. or whatever. And was like, why couldn't you just say it? And I think that really was what he needed. He needed, I know. And she gave him, and even though at the time we were like, she's kind of cold about it. I think that's exactly, exactly. what he needed yeah. in order to be like, okay. And it's, it's just, and it's, it's done. Fine. It's yeah. in the past. Because, like, there, it does not feel romantic at all. It doesn't feel like he's trying to win her back in any way or anything like that. He's clearly got his sights set on Sok Young. And I think, if anything, I think Kwang Tae, as we have learned on this show, is very much a person who is, like, tunnel visioned for one person for at one a person, time. Totally. So. <sighs> it's very sweet. It's very sweet. Hyeon and Hyewon go on their ex date. Uh, they go to an autumn. So did you see what an autumn is? A little hill? No. It is a term only used in Jeju. Wow. And it is, those are dormant volcanoes. <gasps> mm-hmm. Crazy. Mm-hmm. So they go to an autumn and then, and like walk around and go look at the ocean or whatever. And then they go to lunch. Um, and this is the conversation about timing. Let's talk about father time. <laughs> How do you feel about... I understand that the show is weird because there's a three-week situation, right? Like, timing is shortened. So, but there is a level of, like, she would say, I had feelings for... I developed... I I got... My heart fluttered for Dong Jin this day. And then 24 hours later, you texted me. And it was and like, if, oh, the timing was totally off. And I'm like... If you had texted... 24 hours nothing has been solidified what are we even talking about do you know what i mean yes but i think the stakes are higher obviously in a time capsule Uh like this in Mm -hmm. a pressure cooker like this too yeah but also these people are trying to find every reason to either not get back with their ex or get back with their ex and i think for her she's like i i literally cried in the middle of the kitchen i almost blew my cover yeah. In front of everyone in this house, yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. Two people knew mm-hmm. that I that who my ex was, yeah. And I really think that she is like, I have to. My mission is to get over Huyen mm-hmm. because she is so easily swayed by just the smallest bit of attention that he gives her. I mean, I completely understand how one could be swayed by him. Absolutely, there is something so. It he's is so young. He's so young. It is the he is the brightest, and he's he, so he's the brightest, and he ju- not and not this way, not the brightest, but beret. Yeah, the he, brightest, the brightest. Yeah. Yes, he is just. He is very naive and like inexperienced, mm-hmm. and that is part of the charm yeah. of like his whole thing is like he doesn't seem to really know what's going on at all times um so that's fun Mm -hmm. this date happens and there's like they talk about the misunderstanding of like the question of the question 
Right. They, they, they sort that out. And she basically, well, she said that like, if you had just texted a day before, mm-hmm. I think I would have been swayed. But it was too late because I had such a great time with Dong Jin Oppa mm-hmm. that I, and she says that I just feel sorry. That I, yes. that I just, I, that I'm just sorry about it. And Hui Hen starts to sob. Yeah. And in his talking head, he's like, when mm. she said, I'm sorry, that's how I knew that there was no more, there's no chance. Yep. That it's done. That I we missed we missed it. It was so sad to watch him cry because as much as we've been frustrated by Huyun in the show, I think he really is. I don't think this was an act. Yeah, I don't think. I think there was some conversation of like, did he know about the candy? Da da da. As we have watched all the episodes of the show, (laughs) many many hours, Hours. many hours, more than a day's worth of hours. We have discovered that I think this is this boy is dumb. And that boy is dumb. And like very the energy of like says the first thing that comes to his mind. Hyewon and Huyun are talking and he says like his heart f- Oh, she asks him like um did it flutter in the date? Did your heart flutter in the did date? Did your heart flutter in the date? This is when they were talking about the misunderstanding. Yes. And he was like, yeah, yeah, of course it did. Of course it did. And she was like, what? And so then, then even the panel was like, why would you say, say that? that? And then they talk about how like, he probably thinks it means, it. he means it more as like, were you just excited for the yes. date? Which totally understand. And then she was like, you didn't have to like, yeah, like you, because she clarified like, you saying that makes me feel like, oh, then you had a great time at the date. You want to pursue her. And he's like, no, just because my heart flutters for someone doesn't mean I got, I want to pursue her. Right. And she's like, but, but what, but do you see like that yeah, still yeah. shows that you're, you have feelings for that person. Right. And he was like, Oh yeah. Yeah. He just like says a thing that comes to his head. It's very, it's, 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 it's it would charm. be very annoying, but it is yes, cute. It is his charm. It's cute because I'm not dating. It. Yes, exactly. That's why I can enjoy it because yeah. I'm an objective third party. But yeah, it's very hard watching him cry. To be really honest, it's very hard. I get very when boys cry. Well, I get very emotional when boys cry because when boys it is cry locked up versus when men boys. cry. It's a. It depends. I think Dong Jin has cried, but I don't remember. I mean, I guess I cried when the X room happened. That was when he cried a lot. Yes, and then like but, his talking heads too, when talking just. But yeah. don't don't the thing with men crying feels like there's a lot of regret, as opposed to boys crying in the show, which feels more like I made I was foolish. I mean, the only okay, so Chang Jin has not cried on the he, show. He like gets teary eyed, but not like. <laughs> right, he's not cried. Yeah, and Min Hyung has not cried. He's not at all. cried. Juwon's cried. Juwon has cried. Dong Jin has cried. Kwang Tae has cried, and Hui Yun has mm-hmm. cried. And I think this is the most emotional I got was watching Hui Yun cry because I think too it really did feel like the timing conversation boiled down to this moment where yeah. it was like the realization finally hit him of like, it's like it's I done. shouldn't I shouldn't have been fucking around. Yeah, because yeah. he was. Because he kind of was. I mean, I do feel bad, and in in a, in an objective reality, I do feel bad that he was also doing school. Yes, while this was happening, and I understand not, people were doing their jobs, but yes, it's very it's a very the, different energy. He was not in the headspace for the show, right? For that first half, All right? So that, and then they get a text. They get a text saying the exit is now the over. The exit is over. Leave. Pick a person, and if you match, you're going to go on a date with them right now. Right, and. That I mean, that was an that's an important part, right? But they were so heartbroken that the ex date is done. They visibly were both. We're like, I have to shocked. go. Yeah. Ugh. As much as we were frustrated by them at points in the show, totally. I feel for them because they also they got usurped by a more frustrating couple. Yes, so. exactly. They remind me of the good and the frustrating parts about Young Love. As opposed to Sung Joo and Min Hyung, which is just the the, the annoying part, part yeah, about yeah. Young Love that you're right. like, girl, this is yeah. a wave, girl. And I do think you can tell how much 
Hyewon likes Hyeon, and especially in this episode, I felt like I was like, oh, it's so clear how much Hyeon also likes Hyewon. Yeah. So. Before we end, I just want to talk about Chang Jin and Yu Jung. Hmm. They kind of have their own plot in the show yes, right now. They do. Which is very crazy. Because they are setting up they are setting, they are up, setting up the Changjin, Yujung, Juwon, Sakyung polyamory situation. Saga. <laughs> yes. As that is going to be the final question. Because of the, the previous episode, Yujung left being like, I wish I had just stopped wasting all this time with Changjin and I could have spent more time with Juwon Oppa because he's Truly great. That's how the last episode ends. ends. So this whole episode, she cooks curry with him. She is singing along with him in the car. Mm -hmm. But in all of those moments, gave Chang Jin a window of opportunity mm -hmm. to like be like, no, I want to hang out with you today. Yeah. And he doesn't. Correct. And he's like, it frustrated me, but I know they made plans and I don't want to yeah. I'm honoring her time. Right. And her frustration ends up being like, You didn't I take want, the bull by the horns. You didn't, yes, you mm -hmm. weren't being assertive. Mm hmm. <sighs> and I feel for, I really feel for Chang Jin because I do feel like I would have this approach to be like, I'm showing that I'm, I like you. I'm here. By giving you space. Right. And she's like, Bitch, fuck that. Fuck space. I know. Sit here while I'm making this curry. But also, because that's it's proving both to me that you whatever he's he is like being respectful of them. But also, he doesn't want to watch them. That's true. He does not want to like, be in the room. Actually, for Actually, pisses me off yes. to watch you. And I think especially, I don't think they those two have recovered of the fact of when they did not know who the exes were. Uh huh. And so Chung Jin finding out that the, the Juan. like the Juan. The, the guy he had gotten the closest to on the show is the one who's interested is the one in who is like probably ending he, up with his the entire time thought it was Guangte. correct and then realized oh they came to JJ and I don't think he's like gotten over that really yeah, yeah. that's why it's extra frustrating they have this conversation first of all after the Deer Lodge he sits at her place Juan sits outside and literally Dahe is like girl you have a cue bitch Min Hyung was like, girl, you have someone over there and you have someone over there. Yeah. She goes to Changjin first. And they have this, they have, I kind of got lost in this conversation in a way that like it drew me in. I was so invested in the, I was like right there on that table. I have never. Because she. She is so she good is, at explaining how she, she feels. Yes. Without she was getting like, like this emotional. This is how I felt this morning. This is how I felt this, this, right. this, 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 and this. Because he starts with being like, well, how do you think that makes me feel? Blah, 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 blah. And she was right. like, well, this is what happened. Correct. It's so <sighs> rational and logical, but I, and it's not, it is not, it's not a not devoid of emotion. It's not devoid of emotion. It's not demeaning him or making him feel stupid. Right. She's just like, here's what happened. This is what happened. Period. So now what do you do from that? Right. And he's doing it. He's listening to her. He gets emotional. But he is also not like. But he's not He's not mad. Being, he's not mad. No, he's not he's angry. Not he's not young. Like, I think he's frustrated. Obviously, this whole situation is frustrating. But he's not like. I blame you. Right. He's, he's not just yelling like, at her. It made me he's feel bad. That's why down. I don't want to be there. Right. I was so mad in the car. I didn't like seeing that. Right. It would be very incredibly frustrating to watch the two of them. That was so That was egregious. so crazy. Because they literally, Mama, they were singing Wicked. <laughs> and I'm just being like, if you two don't shut the fuck up, I'm going to careen this car like, why down the why? road. <laughs> so funny. They literally were like, la, 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 la. And they sat next to each other. Mm-hmm. But this conversation, I mean, I was, and I was literally like. I 100% like, I, understand why Chang Jin cannot get over you, Jung. Yeah. There's no way I ever could. I, she is. I would forever be like the one that got away. She is. 100%. The one, he is going to go through his life being like, she is the one that got away. Because I think just in general, there are so few people who are able to do what she is doing. Yeah. We have talked about you, Jung, so, so much, much on this show. I know. But like, it's she is, the she is just so 
cool and like she's like funny cool, but and funny and and playful but still so grounded so grounded she has to be an earth sign she's gotta be she's gotta be a taurus or something yeah, some something bitch something bitch yeah yeah I, it's a, i'm obsessed with her and this is how I think it's going to go down. But before the end of the night, she's like, well, this I is would- how I think it's going to go down. This is my guess. I'm going to make a prediction right uh-huh. now. I'm not going to do it next episode. I'm going to do it here before we even see all the X dates. We even see the X dates. And I'm only going to talk about the more interesting couples because okay. I think some of them we already know. We already know. Yeah. And that's going to be the big gag. Changjin not- is going to choose. Changjin is going to choose Yu Jung. Uh-huh. Obviously. Obviously. Dahe, okay, da, here, we'll go back. We'll go back further. Dahe, Dongjin is going to choose Hyewon. Hyewon's going to choose Dongjin. I think that's happening. I think, I'll do all of them. Okay, let's do all of them. <laughs> Huion's choosing Hyewon. Hyewon's choosing, choosing Dongjin. Dongjin. Dongjin's choosing Hyewon. That's settled. They're a pair. Uh-huh. Dahe, Dahe is choosing, choosing Dongjin. Chang- I think, you think she's going to choose Dongjin? I think Dongjin? she's going to pick Dongjin. Yeah, I guess I could go either way. It depends how the X8 goes. If the S6 goes really well, then she's going to choose him. If it goes fine, she's going to... I gonna... think even if it goes fine, she's going to choose him. Yeah. Because it's like, look, we can actually still talk to each other. Yeah. He's not going to choose her. He's like hard as, his heart is set on not choosing her. Okay, so maybe I don't know about that. Daihei. Fine. She's choosing someone with the last syllable she's Jin. Jin. She's choosing a Jin. Min Hyung is choosing Chang Sang Jin. Jung. Oh Sang yeah, Jung those two mess, mess. flop. Jung Eun's probably gonna choose Ju Won. Mm-hmm. Huang Tae is choosing Seok Young. Okay, there we go. Chang Jin is, is choosing, choosing Yu Jung. Yu Jung is, is going, going to, to choose Ju ch- Won. I don't think she's. You don't think Chang she's Chang. gonna waver? Nope. Ju Won is going to choose Seok Young. Ju Won is going to choose and Seok Young is going, going to, to choose Huang Tae. <gasps> And they are going to, they're going to be two couples that end up through the show, and it's going to be Dongjin and Kwon and Sakyung and Kwangtae. Those are the two couples that are going to end up from the show. That is my guess. I think I I Because Sakyung <sighs> is the one who blocked Juan. She likes to be the one with the final word. Yes. She is going to be the final decision <gasps> at the end of you the episode. You think she's the last? Because that's what I was going to ask one. you. Who do you think will be the last she's person? She's the last person. Because Nayeon is the last one. Correct. It's going to be Sak It's going to be Sak Young. It's her and web. And it's going to be... It's going to be... Either like, she goes to Dong, uh, Changjin... No, either she goes they, to Jiwon... Because they Ji-won. go to someone and then they yes, either stay they either with them stay or they or leave. Go. Yes. Yeah. And, and so, I think Juwon's going to come to her and choose her, and she's going to leave and drive sh- to Kwangtae. Juwon is picking Sok Young. He's, uh-huh. he's going to drive her. I think he's going to fumble the bag and not choose Yu Jung, yeah. which is ab- absolutely crazy. bonkers. Yeah. She's going to get out of the car to Kwangtae and mm-hmm. tell Kwangtae, yes, I'm not going back out there. I'm not and Juwon is going to sit in the car, watch Kwangtae and Sok Young walk out together and go to a car. That's what you're saying? Yeah. Or he's not, and he has to drive away. Mm-hmm. And they're staying in the cafe. I think, I think Yu Jung will be swayed. You think Yu Jung will be swayed? I think Yu Jung will be set, swayed. They've set it up that they could. I think they they've set happen. it up so much that I think he, she is going to be like. They have set up Yu Jung, Chang Jin, Juwon, Sok Young, Sok Young as the two couples that of could, like we don't. It could go fifty fifty. Yep. They've narratively set it up that way. Yeah. Everyone else, they've kind of alluded to like, this isn't going to be a surprise. Yep. Now, famously, we said this about his man too, and then we were, we're gooped, gooped, gagged, and, gagged and, and, and gargled. And that's when we were like, okay, maybe we should react to dating right. shows. <laughs> yeah. And I think, and but I still think Sakyung will pick Kwante. I think she really, she's going to this ex date wanting to not. And I'm going like, to be really honest. I don't think she's going to choose Kwangte out of like I like Kwangte. I think it's to I think it's to prove, prove to her, point prove to point on. that I I want I this to be done. Like, yeah, which I, is that's an, what I think. 
Maybe. Who knows? Because here's the thing. Is like, Sok Young and Kwang Tae are going to go on a date together. If they're all going to choose a date. Oh. Choose text after the a date, date. After they're the They're texting date, each other. They're texting. They're going to go on a date together. Yeah. I was g- come back, come back to this. Come video. back and we'll pie in Bookmark our faces. Mark this tweet. We will. You know what? We will pie ourselves if we. I will not get be it doing wrong. that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>